everybody in, in the Omaha area knows this story, but when you go to the East Coast and you go to the West Coast, we've never heard of the story. It's a film six years in the making. Director Andrew Troy plans to tell the story of Chief Standing Bear, years after writing a screenplay based on a book by UNL professor Joe Starita. He was first inspired of the tale after Omaha native Warren Anzalon came to him after reading that book titled, I Am a Man. So I thought, uh, coupled with the, the story itself, there wasn't anything out there that was this powerful, and I just thought that this would be something that needed to be told. Eventually, politicians got involved after Troy got word Congressman Jeff Fortenberry sponsored a bill to pursue the Chief Standing Bear National Trail. He reached out. Fortenberry loved the idea. It's a story that all of Americans need to hear and that Nebraskans can certainly be proud of. This announcement comes right after a statue of Chief Standing Bear was recently unveiled in D.C. Both Troy and Fortenberry hopes the movie, along with the statue, educates Americans on how back in 1879, Chief Standing Bear peacefully told a crowded courtroom that he is a man, winning his case, establishing legal rights for Native Americans. Instead of fighting, instead of picking up the tomahawk or, or a rifle, he decided to find a means in court to find peaceful resolution. The movie is set to be filmed in Nebraska, specifically Fort Omaha, including right here at the Crook House. While the heavy lifting is done, a few final steps need to be made before filming can begin. Once the movie is out, everybody involved hopes Americans will realize Chief Standing Bear's place in American history. Chief Standing Bear never intended to be a civil rights leader, but that's what he became because this is about the universal desire of justice and appealing to all human hearts. In Omaha, John Kipper, Free News Now.